We're being the dreamers. And we're going to try out one of our favorite swimming toys. This is the little fishies. They tend to go really fast. This is the swimming squid. Rainy day dreamers. Rainy day dreamers. We have tried out the robo fish, the aquabot, a whole bunch of these fishies. The little fishies are some of the craziest ones because they run on regular batteries, not hearing aid batteries, and they go crazy in the pool. Mm -hmm. It's nearly pool time. He made us very excited. Less than a month. Yay! we will be swimming. Today we're just going to try this out in a container of water. It's about $10 for this, as you can see. It comes in different colors with different personalities. And um, if you're interested in it but can't find it locally, we'll put a link to it down below this video. As I mentioned, the little fishies you do use regular full-size batteries. What kind of batteries do we need? Um, two AAA. Two AAA, uh, yes. Uh, I love these batteries because like on the two white dots you just have to press and it shows you how much battery is left in it. I just love that. Okay, with the little, the other little fishy that's more like a, a, a regular swimming fish, remember there was the issue you would twist it, there were no screws, right? You just twist it and opened it. And it was a little disconcerting because that's the same way you would turn it on and off. But if you turned it too far, it would open. If you're in the pool, the water could get in. So we didn't care for that design feature. What's the thing here? Tell it trying to tell me. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> what in the world is that supposed to mean? I blub, blub, blub. Oh. I think that means when you take it out, it would stir. Really? I don't know. Let's see. No. Oh, there's a message inside. <laughs> You will meet a handsome stranger. No, what does it say here? Avoid placing this toy close to hair, <laughs> as hair might become tangled. Oh, is it with a little blade in there? Uh-huh. I thought this was going to swim like a squid or an octopus like that, but apparently not. It just goes crazy like the fish. This is going to be wild, Jimena. Are you prepared for this? Ooh. It's just a cap on top. Is that waterproof? Um. Let's show everybody what we're looking at. So here's what we're looking at. We've got how many of these you said? How many tentacles? Seven, so oh. it's not an octopus. All right, to be technically correct, it is not yes. an octopus. And sorry, this is a little embarrassing to show you this part, but this, <laughs> there is a, um, a propeller in here and it does have this around it so you won't chop your finger off, but you can easily see how if you had it near your hair, the hair can go in and get wrapped around that propeller. That would probably be painful. We haven't quite figured out how to open it yet. And then show the, 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 the skull cap like Darth Vader had. It's got to be right there so they'll be in focus together. Okay. If you remember, Darth Vader could take the helmet off and there was the brain inside. Well, it's kind of like that here. Um, we'll figure this out and then explain it to you. Turns out the design of this little fishies is a little different. Instead of simply twisting it to open it up and access where you can put in the batteries, this one you actually have to undo a couple screws and take that Darth Vader brain off. And then the batteries go in here and we found out the on-off switch. Sorry again for showing you this. Is down underneath. It's um, on this side. It's on this side. This little rubberized piece is the on-off switch. Humana has put the two AAA batteries in place here. We're about ready to start it up. All he needs back is his skull. So <laughs> shall we pop that off of here? Here we go. If you would attach that firmly. By the way. Um, we also, in reading the instructions, found out this is a jellyfish, not a squid or an octopus. Time to try this out. So why don't you turn that on first. We'll see how loud it is, see if you feel any breeze blowing from it or anything. Oh, well, I thought you were pushing the button again and again. But I see, that's what creates the pulse in motion. Oh, let me see that light, Jimena. Oh, what light? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wow, and does it change colors? I can't tell. I think it does. Wait, give it a minute. Yeah, it changes colors. It changes colors. I'm loving this. <laughs> okay, now do you feel any breeze blowing from the fan when it's on? Mm -hmm. Tiny, but yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, a red too. Wow. Uh -huh. Now, I have no idea how crazy it's going to go in the water, so be prepared to close the lid, okay? <laughs> All right, drop them in. Oh, I like this! It's just like a jellyfish! It is! Now, he's not going to swim all the way around the pool, but... I mean, like the other fish, side to side, but this is really, really nice. Yeah. I especially love the colors, because, you know, nighttime. Mm-hmm. 
and you can see this color much better than the other nighttime little fish. Not, not oh, little fish. Oh yeah, that that was the latest robo fish. They yeah, added a little fish. LED in the head, little yellow yeah. LED. It's good. Yeah. I think the battery will last a while too because the the motor and the propeller don't go all the time. And the spinning effect is nice too. Look at that. Yeah. This is so much like a jellyfish. I give I them lots of points for doing a nice job on this toy. Five stars. Yes. Now, a good thing about this, as I was mentioning, is I think the battery will last a while because the motor's not going continuously. However, I think it keeps going until you turn it off or the batteries die. So if you leave it out in the pool, it's just gonna keep going all night until the batteries wear out. The thing with the um, RoboFish, remember, is after four minutes, it shuts off and then you've got to dry it off a little, put it back in and it swims around for another four minutes. So the batteries won't go out as fast on that. What did you want to say about this? This is like the best uh, water toy I have like ever seen. It's like wow. the best toy of the RoboFish and little fishies. In You're that impressed? Yeah. And we realize you're really not getting the full effect of it here in this small container because I think it would drop down further in the pool. It would probably go down further. And it does go to the side because before I saw it, it like it looked like it lay down, but it kept trying to go. So it's like just like a jellyfish. And it would move around the pool. So and we'll be trying that out soon enough. Yeah. yeah. We'll bring all the latest robo everything that goes in the water, bring it down to the pool and give it a try out probably next month. So the little fishies jellyfish rises to the top of the charts for us, right? <laughs> this is a really good one. If you can't find it locally, there's a link down below this video. We'll be back trying this out in a full size swimming pool along with all those other swimming toys. You can keep checking back for that video or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up and you will swim with the dream team. Yay. It's raining at our house, is it raining where you are? Try the day to stay in and play or eat a big chocolate bar.